We start with long in and out breathing. That's to emphasize the sensation of the breathing. And it's also because we tend to go around without fully breathing as we go through the day. We've got other things we've got to worry about, other things we've got to think about, and so the breath gets pushed off to the side. So when you start meditating, you want to compensate for the fact that you probably need a little extra breath energy. So breathe deep. And think of the breath as a whole body process. It's, it's not just the air, it's the energy that's flowing through the body, through the nerves and the muscles that allows the muscles to expand and contract so that the breath can come in, the air can come in, the air can go out. That energy flow, that's breath too. As you breathe in, think of it going all the way down to your toes. It's a full body process. The more full body your awareness, the more full body the breath the harder it is to go slipping off to the past or the future. Because to go to the past or the future, the mind has to gather itself into a little tiny point and then zip off. But if you don't let it gather into that little point, then you're much more secure right here. This is one of the reasons why the concentration the Buddha taught is not a one-pointed kind of thing. I mean, you have one point where you have a, your most blatant awareness. But you want to have the full range of your awareness involved as well. Otherwise things get blocked out and you're never going to see anything. Because we're here to see what's going on in the mind. We get the mind still, not in a way of just pretending that you can run away from things if you get small enough and tight enough and still enough. It's more a sense of being really firmly established here so that you can actually look into what's going on in your mind and not get shaken by it. Because a lot of things in the mind have power because we don't like to look at them, and so they just have their shadows. We see their shadows and they're pretty scary, and we run away. But if we're solidly here without a sense of being threatened by anything that comes up, we see these are just shadows. And there's no reason that they should have such control over our lives. So the important thing is to get a really good, solid, large foundation. The Pali term is Mahagatang Chitang, the expanded mind. You want your awareness to fill the whole body and to feel at home in the whole body. That's why we work with the breath energy. If there's any part where the energy is, feels tight or blocked, just think of it loosening up. Just hold that thought in mind. You don't have to push things through. Just think of it loosening up, loosening up, allowing the breath to flow. And that way you find the more and more areas of the body where you really can feel at home. You're not pushed away. And this is what gives you the foundation for looking deeper inside. So make sure this foundation is strong, because if the foundation is strong, you can build anything on it. If the foundation is weak and only on one point, everything is going to tip over. So try to have this expanded awareness as you go through the day. It's there regardless of what comes up. Nothing can blot it out unless you blot it out yourself. So do what you can to keep it going.